Hey guys, want to download shaders in Optifine? Stay tuned for this tutorial. What is up guys, Matt Gamer here today, and I got a billion comments, well not a billion, but quite a few comments on how to install Optifine with shaders, and uh, here it is for you guys. So pretty much all you have to do is go to this link that I provided for you in the description, and it'll take you to this page, and then you just hit this download button right here for this media fire. Now when it comes out, actually, obnoxious open windows, when it finally finishes for you, I've done this like three times, my last video didn't actually render out and it just totally glitched out, so I'm making a new one. Once this finishes, it's a .rar, so you need to download, you need to download the unarchiver. Now this is pretty essential with all Macs, so if you guys don't have it, I'll provide a download link. I'm pretty sure it's free and I've, it has no reason if it's not free. But you want to open with the unarchiver. And now you can close this Safari or whatever you were using to do this tutorial. You can close it now. And you just got to, and it, it, depending on what you're using, it'll ask you where you want this to be saved to when the folder comes out. Now, for me, it just automatically comes to the desktop, but make sure it says desktop for you so you don't have to go searching everywhere. Now, you want to open it up, and then at the same time, you want to make a new finder window. And you want to do this command. You want to do command shift G. And that'll have this little drop down library menu to get you to your folder. And so you want to hit go. And this will be in the description. I, I call it squiggly because I don't know what the hell else it's called. So just tell me in the comments what it is. But I'll leave this for you guys just to copy and paste so it's easy for you. And you don't have to ask me, what's the squiggly? What's the squiggly? So um, just hit go on that. And... um. With that, now you can just hit the application support and go into Minecraft. And now once you're in here, you need a mods folder if you don't have one already. If you have a mods folder already, then you're already one step ahead of me, but not really. So you want to right click, hit new folder, and just type up mods. And then you can just hit enter to just signify that it's good. And open up the mods and drag in Optifine and Shaders Mod Core. And now you can just hit the back arrow. And now you want to drag in the shader packs because if you don't have shader packs, how the hell are you going to use shaders? So drag in shader packs. And there it is, shader packs. And once you have the shader packs in there, you can just now close out of this OGM shaders um, finder tab right here. You can just close out of that. Now with this, make sure that you have both mods and shader packs in here with all the things I told you to put in. You should have Optifine and Shaders Mod Core inside the mods folder and the shader packs, that just comes all by itself. And I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could get way more shader packs, but I think this is what this one comes in, but you can get plenty more, I'm assuming. Now, while you did this operation, I assume you had your Minecraft closed. If you did not have it closed, um, please close it right now and just reboot it because I've had too many errors with my Minecraft being open. So now you can close your Minecraft folder, the one that you just put all this stuff in the mods and the shader packs. And you can open up Minecraft. Now this .rar and the regular folder you can now throw out because you already put all the stuff in a mods folder that you would have needed at this point. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your profile. You would originally be having an Axeman 20, well you wouldn't have Axeman 22 obviously, but you'd have your own profile. And you want to click on that and go to Forge. And now you want to play. And once you've hit play, it should pop up here in just a second here. Also, just a little side note, if you're running on like a crap computer and you're trying to do this, Shaders will not look the best because Shaders requires like a nice graphics card for all the effects it has to offer. So if you don't have the best computer, this may not, Optifine's good for you, but Shaders has crazy stuff. So I suggest having a good graphics card if you're going to use this. So you know if this worked, if it says three mods loaded, three mods active at the t bottom left, and you can just open up your mods, and then you can also go into your options, go to video settings, and then look at how much this changed since you downloaded Optifine. And whenever you do not want to use any of your mods, just don't select Forge for your Minecraft, and you should not have any mods for that particular profile that you selected. So now we're going to make a new account. Um, I'm going to delete the world to be tested. That was for my other video. 
We're just going to call it new world test. I put a C next to test for some reason. Now you want to hit creative just for that to test it, I guess. This is good for Minecraft videos, but I wouldn't suggest using this for Minecraft videos unless you're like well into like the whole process of YouTube and stuff. Don't just come out with videos randomly with this. Once you're far into it, I bet it's a great idea. Like for doing um, animations, I bet it's really great actually to have shaders or Optifine in general is great for Minecraft videos because you can deselect all the settings and lag. So once I get in here, I don't know what's going on here. Alright, so I already had a shaders installed, but I'm going to show you guys how it works because everything was already set for me here. So, we're going to just uh, do this real quick here. If I'm lagging a little bit, then you know why it is. So, there's the shaders at its best right there. Everything's just shaking in the wind, I guess. So, what you want to do is you want to go to options and go to shaders to select your shaders. Because originally, I think once you install this, you're just going to have a regular old world and maybe a texture pack or two. So you want to hit the shaders on your options, and you can literally choose from all of this. Um, there was a cartoon one I did earlier that I think I might do again because it's actually pretty decent. Lag less shaders. What's that? Well, this is just the, pretty much the same thing but lag less. But um, we're going to select cartoon shaders. That's what I did. Cartoon. So if you select the cartoon shader, look at how cool that is. It looks like someone literally is traced around the Minecraft world. And if you want to do, I don't know, let's do uh, Rudo Plays. This one looks pretty cool. It's kind of just nice. Shaders are li literally just to make your playing experience like cooler, I guess, for something new. Because if you played Minecraft for a while, I bet you're downloading mods by now, doing all that other stuff. But it makes it really cool. I mean, the water's moving realistically. Um, it pretty much acts it on itself as its own texture pack. And if you have a texture pack running with this, it makes it look that much better. I mean, just look at that water. I'm not here to present this damn shaders thing to you. I was just showing you how to install it, but I hope this helped you out. I cannot remember who, um, asked this in the comments. All I know is it was about two or so people, but I hope this helped you guys out. Now, if you need any more mod tutorials, you can just come ask me. I originally did not want to do this because I... I was actually surprisingly bad at installing mods and all of that. But now I think I've got the hang of it. So if you guys just want to destroy that comment section with all of the mods you want me to install, that is awesome. And I'll see you guys later. Hope this uh, helped you guys out.